day. It's uh, John VK4BZ and by the way thank you for watching yet another one of my videos. Today I am standing here with my trusty Toyota Fortuna and today we're going to install my Icom 7100 into the car. I'll show you how I do it. Might give you some ideas. You never never know. So let's get stuck into it. Okay just so you get a bit of an idea uh, this is the cab of um, the Fortuna and there sitting in all its glory is um, my Icom um, 7100 already installed. There's a nice little spot in the car here for it to go. So that's where the main uh, the head head unit of the uh, radio is going. Now to give you an idea of what I've done before, um, this is under the uh, the passenger seat right here, and um, I've actually pulled the gear out. But I've actually I've got the main body, the 7100, which is here and then the antenna tuner which is here and they've been all positioned and sat underneath there for some time but I have a another plan uh, for locating this in a far more secure location so looking back in the car again um, I'm going to drop this seat down okay so I'll get that out of the way now I've managed to get myself some drawers uh, in the car some uh, good quality drifter drawers and um, fortunately for me in the back of the drifter drawers um, so this is looking towards the back of the car as you can see um, in the back here is this nice little cavity here and this is where I'm going to put the um, put the radio uh, the main body of the radio and the uh, antenna chair so here we are uh, in my workshop and look I tell you what I wish I could draw I'd show you what I'm intending to do but you're just gonna have to listen to me rabbit on because I'm a lousy drawer but here's the plan now um, down here I've got uh, the LDG uh, antenna tuner. Now I've gone for the LDG rather than the Genuine Icon uh, simply because the Genuine Icon AT180, if I've got my numbers right, uh, I've got one of those, but it's just a little bit on the big side. This one's a lot lighter and thinner. And then of course I have the main body for the uh, Icon 7100 and there it is. So the plan is very simply this. I have got some uh, thin uh, sheet metal, uh, tin, and the, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to cut uh, cut a bracket out of this and then I'll bend that to create a bracket. What that means then is if you imagine for a second, because like I said I can't draw so use your imagination, simply here's the antenna tuner, the bracket will be made to go up and around and down and uh, like that and then it will fix to the wall of that alcove uh, in the drifter drawers. Now, for the main body of the transceiver, which is here, the ICOM 7100 main body, um, I was going to make up a bracket, just like uh, I was doing for the antenna tuner, but of course this one's quite heavy. And then I discovered, if I can come up nice and close to the camera, you can actually see um, these little screw holes here and here. And I had a thought about what I could do um, to actually make up some brackets on the side, screw into those and then put them up against the side of that alcove with putting things in. Now I'm eternally indebted to my late father. He died when I was uh, very young, but I do remember going into his workshop and on the ceiling he would have all these jam jars on the ceiling. The lids were nailed to the ceiling and screwed into, and the, the bottle would screw into those and in all the bottles were screws and nails and things that he um, had used for some projects and he had leftovers. He never threw anything out. Now, <laughs> you might see there, um, I have got these screws, because I do exactly the same, only I use um, what the little drawers that you can see behind me here, I don't use screw bottles on the roof, but these are screws that fit exactly um, in the uh, uh, screw holes on the rig, don't know how that happened, can't even remember where they came from, but that's what I'm going to use to make up the brackets to hold the 7100 in place in that alcove. Okay, now look. I know this is going to seem like one of those makeover TV shows where, whoo, huzzah, it all happens. But anyway, huzzah, it has happened. So these are the two brackets that I have made up for the uh, for the main body of the Icom 7 uh, 100. And as you can see, square bracket you know, on the sides. There it is. That'll screw into the uh, main unit, and then that goes on the wall. Now, for the antenna tuning unit, there she be. Now that is very simply. The, uh, the bracket that I've made up. Uh, okay, don't look close, it is a bit rough and ready, but there she be. The next job now, uh, you can follow me throughout to the car and uh, we'll get it installed. Well, um, for 
the second time occurring in this video you're going to turn around and behold it's all done and in fact it is um, I've sort of truncated the process a fair bit so uh, you didn't hear all my swearing and cursing as I was installing the radios in the back of the uh, car but of course I wouldn't swear and curse I'm a clergyman after all so if you just follow me into the car I'll get the handy cam out and show you what I've been doing Rightio. so here we are in the back of the car and uh, what I've got here as you can see I think if I move this uh, torch around a bit more okay so there is the um, ICOM 7100 installed and there is uh, the antenna tuner likewise also installed where it's supposed to be there we go in the back there now you'll see that the um, the DC line is hanging out there a bit yes unfortunately I uh, ran out of um, ran out of cable so I'm gonna have to put an extension in there but from the back here you can see it's all nice and snug in the back of the car now talking about the cabling as I did just then um, I'm back in the front of the vehicle here uh, there's the head unit there and uh, the DC uh, cabling comes uh, along here uh, under the uh, the plastic work and that runs through the um, firewall and then into um, into the battery com uh, through the the uh, engine compartment and the uh, cabling for the head unit comes in here and they run down under the seat now for the um, antenna wires and there are two of them they actually come through the, the firewall again and then I've routed them in the, uh, the channeling along here you can see there where the um, head unit and the DC uh, cabling come in that way and they keep going through here quickly around the back of the car and here we are at the back again and so that channeling keeps coming it's all covered here looks nice then I come up to oops that's the short bit of cabling there and then you can see everything just runs back um, again um, into um, the uh, radio equipment in the install so there we have it um, I've installed the ICOM 7100 in the car and um, we'll take it out some stage and do a test but I know it's going to work really well from that position well, look, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you perhaps some ideas about what you can do for your own radio installation. And as I always say in all the other YouTube channels, just hit like if you like this video. That'd be really great. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I hope it's been worthwhile for you, and we'll catch you on the airwaves somewhere again in the future. This is John, VK4BZ. Until next time, cheers.